a dinner lady. Look at this. 6.40 a.m. in the morning, cold. <laughs> I'm glammed up. We are about to show you a magic trick. Lovers used to come here at night time behind the scenes of everyone's amazing Instagram photos. You're a better woman than me. And a better woman than you. <laughs> I see the little Turkish couple jump out the basket. Excuse me, sir. He actually grew up in this cave house. Hello! I can hear someone playing Ed Sheeran and I really hope that it doesn't come out in the back of this video. But I've just come back from my photography tour. Well, not just. I came back about, let's say an hour ago and I just wanted to rest for a little bit in my room. So I did that and I changed because I'm actually going sunset horseback riding and it's very last minute. I literally just booked it while I was on the way back to my hotel from the photography tour. Thought I was gonna wait until tomorrow to do it. But I thought if I can get it done today, then it means I can actually leave I can actually leave here tomorrow because I'm thinking of going back to Istanbul using the bus. Hear me out, hear me out. Wherever you want to travel around Turkey, you always have to go back to Istanbul to get somewhere. Like for instance, I came from Fethiye, so I had to go Fethiye, Istanbul, Istanbul, Cappadocia. Whereas next year, I want to come here with a group. It's just a little baby idea that I have right now, but I thought what's going to be a more effective time-wise mode of transportation? And then I was looking on YouTube and then I saw that people do buses to Istanbul and there's even a bus from like here, um, Fethiye. So I could have done that rather than having to basically take two planes, have a layover and all that stuff. I've looked some of the buses because it's an overnight bus so you leave at 7 p.m. in the evening today and then you'd arrive 8 a.m. in the morning in Istanbul the next day so it's like a sleeper bus so apparently the seats are a lot more comfortable and stuff like that so I thought right let me try it see how it is and then if it works I might organize it for next year but yeah I'm not a bus type of person or coach type of person not to say there is a bus or coach type of person I'm just the distance is 12 hours 12 hours in a bus so I'm like Oh, but yeah, the photography tour was amazing. So, so amazing. You guys would have seen. So amazing. I would definitely recommend them. I'm going to put their Instagram in the description bar below. They're two brothers and they were so lovely, so professional. And to the point where I've actually cancelled the photographer I was meant to use tomorrow for my balloon pictures. And I've just booked Denise and his brother for tomorrow because they were so nice. And also, the photographer I was meant to shoot the balloons with, I was actually meant to shoot that today. And then he texted me and said, Oh, can we swap it? to Saturday because he did say it was for a medical reason but then I went on Instagram and I saw that he was working today he was taking um 6 a.m in the morning taking shots of another blogger from Canada that I follow and she's here right now so I thought hold on a second mate mate like you could have just said I have someone else who wants to book this day do you mind moving rather than giving me this long ass story about having a medical condition and having to go for a blood test I mean it could be true you know it could be true they may be uploading insta stories at late times because I do that I actually when I'm on holiday I upload my insta story a day late just because there's some crazy people in this world so you just want to make sure that no one can ever 100% track you so yeah that's a bit of a behind the scenes whenever you see me posting on insta stories it's what I've done the day before but I'm posting it as if it is the day so yeah i just said i'm just gonna go with denise and his brother and they were so so nice and we went to um eunuch eunuch hotel and they actually let me in on the tip that eunuch mithra are actually either owned by the same person or part of some sort of hotel group which explains why mithra is so big and then eunuch is like mithra 2.0 in terms of way bigger with two pools and just very luxe with valets and all that stuff so yeah next time i come i do want to stay there as well actually speaking of that okay so you know how yesterday was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday how yesterday like i was just peed off with the balloons i think what set me off is the fact that when one thing goes wrong in my life usually when things go wrong i just take it on the chin so like with the balloon thing i took it on the chin i wasn't gonna complain i was just like i got my hot air balloon i mean i wouldn't do it again because of the experience i had but i got it but then to come back and then be told oh you have to wait 20 minutes for breakfast and then wait 20 minutes be called you have a table walk all the way up there and there's a lot of stairs here to then see that my table was being given to someone else I think at that point I was just like no you're taking a piss and I'm pissed off now I spoke to the manager yesterday and he was so lovely he actually he let me use their um terrace so they have like a 
pra they have like a private terrace area where i think people go to obviously take some nice shots and there was no one else there so it was just me there in the morning and i took some amazing shots i'm so i'm getting so good at taking my own photos and i've started using my pancake lens which i've actually had for years but i never used it because i just couldn't get my head around the fact that you had to be so far from the camera but it takes such amazing photos and he was so nice me and him are friends now and i even called my dad to speak to him in turkish because i was like my dad speaks turkish you know let me call him right now me and calling my dad to speak turkish with people you see that hand emoji where the two hands are together that's me but yeah so i'm just sitting on one of the many terraces here at mithra there are so many terraces is it terrace terrace english isn't my first language okay we've established this i've got 15 minutes until they arrive i am wearing this maxi dress but <laughs> I didn't have any black leggings so I had to wear it's actually a jumpsuit but I rolled it down so that it works as leggings because I'm allergic to animal fur but I don't know if I'm going to be okay with horses because they don't really have a lot of fur but they have hair so it's the animal hair that irritates me so I'll be so pissed if I go horseback riding now and then tomorrow the day I'm meant to be having a photo shoot with balloons my face is full of rashes I mean at least it's at the end of my trip but still I'll still be peed off so unfortunately I had to do this but it's okay because i'm literally doing this well everything i'm doing is for the experience but sometimes i'm like oh i want to get a good picture while i'm doing this whereas with this it's literally i'm not worrying about taking any pictures i just want to enjoy i will take some pictures but they'll be more for my personal memory not to post online on instagram or for any sort of content or anything like that i think for all of this i've been looking at the viewfinder and i'm so sorry there's basically terraces everywhere let me actually show you there's one here there's even a lounge area in there where they're playing the music one down here one up there there's also one like in there one there oh my god oh my god Do you know what i spent half my time running away from bloody flies in this place but i'm at the horse ranch oh, i have this freaking hair now i look like a dinner lady apparently it's a requirement but yeah we are about to be riding those horses and Cappadocia the meaning of the name of this town there's a lot of different meanings when I had the tour the guy said that different people depending on who had conquered it first called it different things but I think when the Persians conquered it they actually um, called it Cappadocia because it means the land of the beautiful wild horses which is why I really wanted to do a sunset horse tour you guys will see that like when I was doing my tours and stuff there were camels but the camels aren't really native to here they're imported in whereas horses there are a lot of horses all around here. So it is 6.40 a.m. in the morning. You can see from my eyes, I'm very tired. Here's the gang. You know, Ben. This is dedication to the photos. So if you see the photos on Instagram, please like them because yeah. this is the reality behind it all. I respect all you models. I can't, I couldn't do this, not every day. My eyelash is um, holding on for dear life. I might put lip gloss on. I'm gonna put lip gloss on. We've got about 10 minutes. If you bring the bag, this time I can moisturize my hands. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Cold. <laughs> That's enough. Before with kid with. Will not come and take my money. Anyway, guys, I am back in the warmth of my hotel room, alhamdulillah, because it was cold. I have seen some of the pictures that we took, and you know what? After seeing the pictures, it is worth it. Would I do it again? Absolutely not. But it was worth it for the shots. God, there has to be a better place. I feel like I always film in the same place. I feel like I always film in the same place, which is there, but that's because that's literally the best lighting. Oh, here's not too bad actually okay yeah let me give you a different angle today but yeah i'm back in my hotel room my hotel room looks an absolute mess because i had to work up at 3 a.m curl my hair also the second outfit i had to do some minor adjustments to 
it and it's been a lot but I'm gonna go up to the roof to have breakfast I also want to use um, on the private terrace there's like this bed area and I want to use it for a real so I'm gonna have breakfast see if I can do that I'm gonna twang the manager we're friends now so he should let me use it hopefully if no one else is using it come back film the reel really quickly I have about four hours checkout is usually 11 but they said I can check out at one so yeah I have about four hours breakfast go up shoot that part of the reel come back down I've laid out the outfits I want to shoot for the fashion reel film that pack hopefully if I have like an hour I'm gonna nap because I'm tired I'm also gonna make sure that I get some Turkish coffee at breakfast because I don't know what's in that Turkish coffee but the thing is strong like it really <sighs> let me get going and get some food and some mainly coffee down me my last breakfast spread here at Mithra one thing about Turkish people yo they know how to feed you oh by the way this smoke thing is to keep away the bees it's basically coffee burning coffee and I've got my Turkish coffee there So these are Cappadocia? This color from this co Cappadocia. Okay. The reddish from Turkmen and Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah. This is a machine made, which is they use 10% silk, 90% bamboo. And we have also, which is again, same type, mm -hmm. which is 10% cotton, again, 90% bamboo. Yeah, that my mom would love this, yeah. <laughs> but I can't fit that in my suitcase. You know what we can do? We can also ship. DHL, okay. UPS. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. That's a beautiful carpet again. <laughs> yeah. Do that again, one more time. One, two, three, go. The color changing. That's what I do. Because this is light side for you. Now it's dark side for you. Oh wow! One, two, three. <laughs> Guys, this is the boomerang. Make sure you like it when you see it on my Instagram. So what we call the dari is it because in our country still we have arranged marriage. So when they have like arranged marriage, yes. oh the woman has to make it. Yeah. To show that she ca she is her ready mom, to get married. Her mom, she married this when she was a baby. Okay. And when she's ready for engage, mm -hmm. so when she's engaged, they put this one up on the wall. So when the other people are came in their houses mm -hmm. to check the girl, when they see those engagement piece, that means she's already engaged. Oh. So they can drink their tea. They can drink their coffee. Yeah. Like finally, piece off. <laughs> if someone comes, mm. say you had a daughter. Yes. Someone comes yes. and wants to marry his daughter. Yeah. But if in their house his wife has hung this, it means that his daughter is already engaged, so the boy should kindly piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and do what he just did. But this is a long one. That's the run. One, two, three. <laughs> He's trying not to. <laughs> No, we do it again. Okay. Look, do it with it. I can do this. Hold on, hold on. Ah! Oh, yeah. yes, good. Thank you. Okay. What, I just, like that? No. Oh, like this? No, like I show you <laughs> one time. I know, I know, I know. Yes, yeah, slowly, slowly turn right and, yeah, yeah. Turn, turn right. Oh. Oh, this good. <laughs> no, that. Okay, open. Oh slowly. Yes, slowly. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it. 